Well, good morning. It's Wednesday and welcome today to our daily prayers. One of my favourite things is actually um, we have a school quite near us, primary school, Christchurch Primary. And often when the children are playing in the playground and the wind is in the right direction, when I'm in my garden, you can hear them play. And there's something about the carefree way in which they're just running around and laughing and shouting, which is just lovely. Thank you, God, for the carefree fun of hearing children. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. And so today we are Exod Exodus, no we're not, Leviticus 16, at verse 15. Uh, he, that is Aaron the high priest, shall then slaughter the goat for the sin offering for the people and take its blood behind the curtain and do with it as he did with the bull's blood. He shall sprinkle it on the atonement cover and in front of it. In this way he will make atonement for the most holy place because of the uncleanliness and rebellion of the Israelites, whatever their sins have been. He is to do the same for the tent of meeting, which is among them in the midst of their uncleanliness. In many ways, this chapter 16 of Leviticus is right at the centre of the book and is by far the most important chapter because it talks about this ritual, the atonement. And basically, if the first half has been full of all the different sacrifices, burnt offerings, grain offerings, sin offerings, etc., the day of atonement once a year made them all effective. That's what was going on and brought people back to God. And because God was holy and their sins are forgiven, they could be brought back to God. Uh, the word atonement, I find it quite helpful to think of it as at one moment. In other words, you and I are reconciled, brought to be at one with God. And the reason is because as Christians, we know that Christ became that sacrifice. He was the one whose blood was spilled to provide you and me with atonement. The price was paid. And in fact, in the stained glass window, you can see in your picture, Christ was once offered to bear the sins of many. He became our sacrifice. We thank God for the way our sins have been wiped clean and forgiven. We can be atoned to God, brought back, reconciled with our Heavenly Father. A space for our prayers today. And so as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so may this grace won for you by Christ's bloodshed. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and for evermore. Amen.